Here are Hinch, 9-1 winners against Harlow at Woodside this afternoon. Um, how did you assess the performance? Yeah, it's obviously a great performance. Obviously they come, uh, I think getting the th we scored at good times today. Um, getting the third one just for half time meant they had to come and you know go at us a little bit and I think then it creates the sort of spaces that we sort of thrive and um, flourish in, in, in planning. Um, so yeah, great performance. I think it's one that we sort of owed the fans really. And they've kept coming over 700 here again um, in the kind of form that we're having at home is is amazing really great great turnout and you know we've we've owed them that one to be honest because you know we've been been poor at best at times uh, at home so it's good to give them some entertaining football at last. Obviously 9-1 we took our chance as well but how do you uh, apart from conceding what was the defensive performance like this afternoon? Yeah it was a lot better I think you know having the two sessions this week has really helped with that Aaron's done some work with the, with the defenders um, he's also spent a lot of time on the set pieces which we look to threat as well so having that double session this week has really helped us um, yeah, we looked a lot more solid. Obviously disappointed with the their goal. Thought we had chances to clear the ball, and, and we didn't. Um, we kept it alive. They kept it alive, um, and then obviously it's a good finish. But you know, disappointed with that. But you know, you can't have too many disappointments on a day like today. Ollie Pierce, only the four goes this afternoon. What's that do for his confidence? Yeah, well, there's a few sort of immense performances out there already, and uh, yeah, if you don't get confident after. Scoring four goals, you never are. Um, I always feel that he's got that in the locker. Um, you know, the other day he probably should have scored an open goal, if you like. Uh, so for him to the next game bounce back and get four goals is, you know, a testament to his character. He uh, keeps going. I think you forget how young he is as well. He's sort of only 23. Uh, he's been around this level a, lot, a long time and. You know, if we can get a few of these players back confident, then you know we could have a really good end to the season. Jesse Starkey, what a strike! Where, from your angle, where did you see it? Yeah, amazing, amazing goal. I'm, I'm delighted for Jess to be fair, because um, he obviously he, he left us, um, you know, and then come back. And I think since he's come back, he really has sort of knuckled down and worked his absolute socks off. Um, he hasn't had no complaints where he's played, um, and. I'm glad he's getting his rewards now for his old work. Uh, he's just not a, a number 10 now that wants to get on the ball. He's, he's doing the other side of the game and I think he'll get his rewards with that. I sort of challenged him in the week that you know, if he does want to be a number 10, he has got to start scoring and, and providing more assists for us. So to see that one going off the crossbar, uh, you know, it was a great strike and delight for him. And it was a real catalyst to our performance really without... That goal going in, it could have been a, a completely different afternoon. Ricky, another great performance for him, from him, but another youngster, Kwame. Yeah, remember that name, the kid's phenomenal. Yeah. Plays with no fear. What would you see in him? Yeah, exactly that. Really, um, I think they're both, you know, especially first half. I thought they was our go-to guys, and they're both 17 years old. Um, you know, real, real talent, the pair of them. And you know, I don't know. Hopefully, the fans see what I see and. It's just a pleasure to watch, enjoy watching him play, watch Ricky, enjoy watching Ricky spraying his 40, 50 yard passes right on the end of people's toes and Kwame when he gets the ball he just never looks like he's going to lose it. Um, so he lost it a couple of times but then his work rate to get it back is, is excellent and you can never ever guide him because that's what you want from him, um, to, to beat players and, and, and play with that confidence. Another seven days until we go to Wingate, is there, is there anything that you particularly want to work on in training this week? or? Yeah, we we analyse analyse the game. Um, you know, uh, obviously your good work. We can we can see what what we can improve on and what went well. Um, so that that would be massive for us. And yeah, just really keep the sort of spirit spirit higher. They sort of played how I see him in training, how Mick sees him in training. He's always banging on at me, Mick, about can we get them as noisy and as lively as they are in a training session on a Saturday and. They've done that today, especially second half. So, you know, we want to keep that sort of momentum going. Um, and the, the training sessions will be being, will be important. We'll keep on working on our set pieces. So, um, both for and against, if we can be a team that can, um, you know, be a threat from set pieces, because we do create a lot of corners from. We work the ball into that area quite often in the game. So, you know, the corners that we've had this season has been. There's been uh, you know, loads, to be fair, in, in every game, so if we can be a team that's starting to put some of them away, then um, you know, it really does bode well. Um, but yeah, just be 
maintaining their confidence and, and keeping spirits high. Cheers, Edge. That's what I should